Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to another stream, another SAT Solved Live. Today I'll be going over the Digital SAT Practice Test 1, the linear PDF version. This might be a little bit confusing for some of you guys who've already seen me take the Practice Test 1, the digital, like the, the app version, the Blue Book official app version. I decided to switch over to a linear PDF version because I thought uh, that it would be easier for my viewers, for you guys, to follow along since the adaptive version uh, may not look the exact same for you as it did for me. So I'm going to go through all four of the PDFs first. And I heard that, there, and I actually confirmed that there's actually significant overlap between the paper PDFs and the digital practice. So I assume that when I go back to the digital Blue Book app uh, version, there's going to be a lot of redundancy. And so I think that'll be focused, those streams would be more focused on strategy and time management, although that doesn't seem to be a main, major problem right now. And these PDF streams be focused more on just like dealing with the questions. So if you're not fully sure exactly what I mean, the, the main thing you need to know is go into the descriptions below and find these PDFs. Uh, there's a link that I put in the description. And while you're there, if you want to hit that subscribe button, that will allow me to do these little things where I can share you a link <laughs> directly to the PDF sometime in the future. Right now, I can't share direct links outside of YouTube due to not due to not, me not having uh, 1,000 subscribers. So we're at almost 800 right now. I think I'm at 796. If we can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll be able to do a lot more things with my YouTube and hopefully produce better and better content for all of you guys. I will be going over the digital SAT practice test one through four in the next, like, in the next week. Uh, I'll be going through all four of them very, very soon. And after that, we'll see um, where my journey takes me because it's all new for everybody right now. So it's a little chaotic uh, trying to plan for uh, future digital SAT classes. Okay, so that's that. Uh, quick update from me. Now, before I get into uh, the test itself, uh, we'll make a, cop a couple comments on what I think the primary strategy should be and also some tips for what uh, for how to how to view this video if you're not watching it as a live stream but as a video let me start with the tips first tips for watching this video a uh, couple of recommendations i strongly recommend first of all that you take the pdf uh, you solve these questions first before i do uh, it'll give you a point of reference so go ahead and solve pause this video okay go and download it by clicking on the description below and solve this test first Second, when you are watching this, I uh, might as well speed it up. So, you know, go and click on this gearbox over here and speed up the video to 1.5, 1.75 or 2.0 X speed. So you don't have to watch me just like think the whole way through. And third, another recommendation is uh, turn on the like hit that CC button also around here. Okay, that CC button will allow you to like read and listen to me at the same time, which is especially helpful when you are speeding up somebody's speech. Okay, now obviously there will be typos when you use the CC feature, the closed captions slash subtitles feature. So just be aware that not all of the transcriptions will be correct, but you know, just generally use it as a way of getting the gist of what I'm saying and, 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 and increasing like comprehensibility. Okay, so those are my tips for watching this video, and here are my sort of forecasts for, for what I think the ideal, the optimal strategy is. Right now, I have actually technically, oh, what's going on? My keyboard shortcuts are not working. Okay, so right now I technically have a advantage. I have the ability right now on this test to actually annotate things. Whereas on the digital SAT, on the Blue Book app, it's actually extremely difficult to annotate anything. It's so difficult that I do not recommend annotating. Um, you can try it, but I don't see how it will help you personally. Uh, I, I see how it would suck up time and when the SAT eventually gets harder and harder, you're gonna, you're gonna start stressing out about time management. So don't generally recommend it at the moment unless they improve their annotation tools, but for now, that's a different story. So uh, I will actually avoid annotating on this uh, or I will try to, it's kind of tempting because I have this stupid pencil in my hand, but I will try to avoid annotating on this to make it more like the real Blue Book app. 
my strategy for this is to actually intentionally slow down every time I, I'm at a new question. And so every time I come to a new question, I want to take a quick, like, deep breath because I want to adjust to the new topic, the new characters, the new uh, particles, the new chemicals, the new researchers, the new things that come out. And I have to like sort of rebuild the scene again from scratch. This is very different from the current SAT. So when I, when I, when I go to a new question, I'm gonna try to take a, a breath to slow everything down and just to reset the scene before I go right into the reading. And yes, I will continue to do with the. Uh, I will continue to um, follow my general reading first strategy. I find that uh, I find that I, it's more effective to still read the passage to some extent before going to the question. Although it's not as uh, black and white as it is with the current SAT, so you'll see how I kind of mix and match it. But um, anyway, those are. I don't need to pre-bias you about this. You can actually just watch and see how I actually do it, and I'll make comments along the way. All right, so that's my sort of tentative strategy, and that's my summary for that. Let's get into the questions now. EK, uh, good to see you in the stream. Uh, let's get started. Three, two, one, let's go. Shortcuts, please work. Three, two, one, let's go, there we go. Definitely idea when it might happen. She, she believes, she believes, she be believes, speculates that humans will someday need to live in other environments. Okay, this, con this conjecture. Okay, uh, that was 18 seconds. Okay. Uh, Navajo Nation legislator, and ooh, I just realized something. I forgot to make a, uh, a comment about time. Uh, on the real SAT, I think the time was 25 minutes? No, it's not. I actually forgot the time on the digital. I forgot the real time. But it's like one hour, I think, for the thing. Uh, for the for the paper SAT, it's supposed to be longer, but I could not find how long it's supposed to be. It's not written anywhere. Uh, I saw multiple PDFs and I looked at multiple websites, and I don't know how long the paper PDF, um, the paper PDF version is supposed to be. Sorry, the paper linear version of the test is supposed to be. So I'm just gonna do a count up system um, and see what happens. But I should be well under time because I was extremely under time when I when I took the the blue book app version. Okay, so I'm just gonna worry. I'm gonna keep myself at a regular pacing. I'm not gonna worry too much about time. Here we go. Continuously work to promote public health. This. Uh, health effort, this persistent effort involves traveling through the homeland. Yeah, um, because of continuously. So we're at 44. Okay. Following the principles of participatory research, these nations and institutes are equal partners. A collaboration demonstrates this model, exemplifies this model. Yes. Okay, 102, we, we're going. Uh, the parasitic daughter plant increases its reproductive success by flowering at the same time. Pause really quickly. I actually did, it's hard for you to see, but what I did is I actually did a quick glance at the question and I went back to the passage just to confirm that it, this is still a word and context question. Okay, uh, so it's not actually word like a vocab question. I don't really know what to call this just yet, but I just wanted to confirm the question type. So I did do a little glance just now. You, did, you weren't gonna be able to see it, so I'm explaining it now. Okay, continue. Uh, flowering at the same time as the host and determine that the tiny daughter achieves this uh, synchronization because it's the same, t same time by absorbing. Yeah, so that's 125. I'm gonna keep going. Um, Given that the condition in binary star systems should make planetary formation nearly impossible, it's not surprising that the existence of planets in such systems had lacked um, obvious explanation. Hang on, why do I know that? Uh, complex. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it's complex, right? And it's not obvious. Um, Seminole Muskogee director Har Har Harjo, uh, the tendency to situate 
in the distant past. He, he disagrees. He repudiates probably. He doesn't like it. This rejection. Okay, there we go. And I think that's pretty much good. 2, 12. Moving on. Now we're no longer at the vocabulary. Uh, Louis von Ahn. Digital format. Couldn't recognize, but humans could read. Okay. Bots versus people. This is the recapture test. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, the main purpose is to talk about his um, re recapture invention. Yeah. Yep, that's correct. I just did a quick uh, like process elimination, just like mentally. It was so fast because I was so confident already in A. Um, I didn't do like a very intensive process elimination. House of Mirth, Lily Bart. Companion walking, Lily, no intimacy with nature. She had a passion for the appropriate and could be keenly sensitive. Yeah. Okay, I'm double checking the question and I'm realizing it's a fun, it's a function question. She found herself in this nature, even though she had no real wavered. Okay. The function of this is, um, it's like the point of this paragraph, like it's describing her initial thought. It's a, uh, yeah, wait, huh. Okay, uh, process elimination. It's not an image. She, in its calmness, its breath, and its long free reaches, and this is all being expanded upon. Wait, is it illustrating the... Pre she had a passion for the purpose, could be clearly sensitive to a scene which is a fitting background of her own sensations. A scene, which was the... Okay, here's a scene background of our own sensations. Uh, I guess, yeah, D is more direct, yeah. Okay, that took me a while, 4.45. So that took me quite a while for the, uh, to get through that. What, was that almost two minutes? Yeah. Uh, function question, that's interesting. Okay, a study by the team, including finance professors, suggests that exposure to sunshine can lead to overly optimistic behavior using data spanning from Compared over 29,000 annual to the actual earnings later reported by those companies. They found. So it's just the results. Uh, it's just the, um, the, not the part of the methodology. Yeah. It's just what they used, the data that they used to, um, to find their findings. Okay, 530. I just had to do a couple uh, quick checks for the process elimination. Following text is adapted from Edith Nethbit's uh, novel. Uh, what's true about mother? Okay, I'm just figuring out a, we're sort of inferring something about mother or maybe not even inferring, did not spend all, it's just characterization. And paying dull visits to dull ladies, sitting dully at dull, dull ladies. Pay. She was active, always there, ready to play, read, help. She's active, she's right, uh, and read, made up piece of poetry. Because she, she creates stories and poems for her children. Favorite is too strong. Yeah. All right, 620. Addressing PLD, Dunbar, Maggie Poe Johnson, Poet of a Race. Oh, it's about, okay, I see. Thou, what the my, with my has told of joy. We're talking about the purpose of the text, I see. So, where the stroke of mighty pen has told of joy, uh, told of joy and mirth. Okay, we're, okay we're, we're kind of praising him. Read the hearts, carry out the language of the father, read them all, and even the little brook responded. Even the brook responded to you, to your language. Okay, to praise, it's a perceptive, uh, 
Maybe. Oh, I see, yeah. That's correct. I had to double check. Praise was absolutely correct, but I just needed to get that perceptive. To You is a poem by Walt Whitman, suggests that readers whom he addresses directly have not fully understood themselves writing, writing, you don't know what you are. You don't understand yourselves. I mean, that's the only one that, uh, duh. Yeah, I just double checked. The, yeah, I just double checked the other ones. Like none has understood you. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, 745. Born in 1891 to a Quechua-speaking family in the Andes. Support, we're supporting the claim. Uh, Martin Chambi, Martin Chambi is today considered to be one of the renowned for photography. Uh, oh, I've seen this question before. I mean, I, don't, I kind of forgot it already. We, we want to have representing uh, diverse elements of Peruvian society, and that's the main claim, right? Yeah, that's the student's claim. The student claims this, so we need to have the student's claim. And so he took many por portraits, but he also produced hundreds of images, carefully documenting the people's sites, customs. Exactly. Uh, documenting the people's sites and customs. Let me just double check. Yeah, the elements of Peruvian society, uh, the Andes, the Andes. Oh, yeah, we're good. So I have seen this before. And uh, that's because there's, you know, a, a, there's a um, there's an overlap between the digital and the uh, 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 there's an overlap between the blue book version and the paper version. Um, credit film output of young James Young Deer, Dark Cloud. James Young Deer, Dark Cloud. Okay, there's four different people, um, and we're talking about the output, and we're using the data to complete the example. So we need to understand this example. Uh, it is possible, for example, so we have to have an inter we have to have an alternative interpretation. Uh, some research studying the indigenous filmmakers that turned to the early days of cinema in the tens and twenties when they were involved with numerous films. So many have been lost that counts should be taken as bare minimums. It's Im entirely possible that they did a lot more than this. Um, fewer uh, only. Okay, hang on. Hey, that's no that 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 makes no sense um uh far more there we go more okay let me just double check those numbers lily 66 edwin uh 58 yeah okay 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 so that's 1005 to reread so i find that the data ones do take me a little bit more time so that took me a minute and 25 seconds okay What's up, WTK? Uh, do you scribes data, data? We're describing the data to support the claim. Okay, we need to figure out the researcher's claim. Okay, so I am noticing that it's very helpful to know the question type first before reading. Uh, so this is this is a this is changing my strategy quite a bit. Do you know about plants found growing on bare ground and patches of vegetation for five species? Okay. Bare ground, patches of vegetation, five species. Percentage found in patches. Okay, so how successful they are. So three of these are pretty successful. They're all generally pretty successful, it sounds like. I'm kind of confused, but okay, moving on. Several plots within a diverse plant community in Southeast Spain. Calculated if individual plants were randomly distributed, and only about 15 w would be with other plants. Well, that's already very different, okay, from these numbers. So they counted the number of juvenile plants of five species grown in and grown compared to what they would. Ah, I see, it's the distribution, okay. Possibly other plants gain an advantage. Okay. Okay. Um, 
The, the percentage of growing patches was substantially higher than what would have been expected, randomly distributed. Wait, if plants were randomly distributed? Yeah, that's this sentence over here. Okay, that's correct. Uh, so that's 12, 15. Yeah, man, this is correct. My prediction is, yo, I guarantee you within one year, if not, I mean, within two years, but if, if not one, um, these questions are going to be excruciatingly painful logically. They're going to be they're going to become essentially logic questions. This is the same format as like um, as like one of the sections of the LSAT. Uh, it's going to be painful. In the mountains of Brazil, two plants, BM and BT, okay, establish them as the soilless, nutrient poor patches of quartzite rock, okay, quartzite. So the beautiful thing about this is I actually said I wasn't gonna. Um, annotate but i realized it's not i can't even resist it it's not possible uh so the beautiful thing about the pdf version is i can still annotate and sort my ideas out <laughs> the roots grow directly into quartzite have clustered fine hair near the root tip further analysis indicate that these hairs secrete malic and citric acids i hypothesize that the plants uh, depend on dissolving dissolving the rock with these acids um, create channels for continued growth but also releases phosphates for the nice nutrient phosphorus. Okay, very complicated. Uh, so we need to get their hypothesis. The hypothesis is over here. Um, plant to determine that the uh, have cluster fine hair near the root tip. Okay. Proportions doesn't help. The roots carve new atroids. Oh, they hypothesize that they depend on dissolving for growth. Okay, I see. Oh, okay. Even when cracks are readily available. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Oh, that's kind of tricky. Okay, uh, this is going to become increasingly a logic test. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's keep going. Herbivores are, uh, uh, herbivorous herbivorous dinosaurs could grow more than 100 feet long, weigh up to 80 tons. We're trying to complete the text. Some researchers have attributed the evolution of sauropods to such mass sizes to increase plant production. Okay. High levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide during the Mesozoic era. However, there is no evidence of carbon dioxide coinciding with relevant periods such as when the first large suggesting that it's not the that carbon dioxide was not the main cause so let's just find that yeah yeah yep so that's 1520 wow <laughs> In, in documents called judicial opinions, judges explain the reasoning behind their legal rulings, and in those explanations, sometimes cited historical philosophers argues that judges are naturally philosophers whose views align with their own positions. The, str the strongest judicial opinions consider potential objections. Philosophers whose views conflict could therefore uh, indicate strength. Indicate strength. No. Uh, crops, hang on, that's different. Oh, help improve the strength of, yeah. I see, that makes sense as well. Okay, 1610. I don't think I'm ready to teach like a logic class just yet. Uh, it's because it's been such a long time. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're at the English section now, uh, the, the grammar section. Public awareness campaigns about the re need to reduce single is successful. Hang on. We're just doing grammar, right? So I don't think I achieved the 40% reduction after cash. We're at, instructed to ask whether they, they, okay, so that's 1640. Uh, Epicurus define pleasure as the absence of pain in the body and trouble in the soul. Uh, positing. 
Yep, modifier. So 17. I, I do find it a little weird. Like, I'm not 100% set on reading the question first or reading the passage first. It's misleading to say that they discovered the double helix. Um, uh, their findings were based on a famous x-ray. Right, this is a... Okay, so 17, 25. Wong, but never a heroine, finally got a starring role in Paramount's a film that um, critic Stina Chen claims <laughs> funny. I don't know actually the technical name for this, but um, but it's it's funny that this relative clause is being used that way. Uh, to make it really confusing with the commas. The price of tulips skyrocketed with selling up to 200K. Uh, some historians claimed, claim that this tool was, was the first. Okay, yeah, 18, 18. Magneto sensation have determined why some soil dwelling round worms move in the opposite direction when searching for food while food food in the northern hemisphere but in the southern hemisphere yeah there we go uh 1840 i actually had seen this one uh, i'd seen this one earlier uh in the in the in the digital in the in the blue book version scientists believe that unlike most other species of barnacles barnacle turtle barnacles can dissolve the cement like secretions they use to attach themselves right to a sea turtle across the ocean. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know why I'm being so careful, but <laughs> I'm just double checking things. The but I guess it makes sense for grammar because it's easy to make careless mistakes on grammar. The classic uh, shoots and ladders is a version of an ancient Nepalese game. In both games, players encounter good or bad spaces while traveling along a long path. Landing on one of the good spaces allows a player. Okay. Okay, that's uh, 1953. In 1943, mathematics professor Hopper was recruited by the military to help the war from solving composition. Her, her career will involve more than just solving equations. Uh, equation though, however, because as, yeah, right. There we go, 20. And man, they're loving these colons, huh? Okay. Uh, English King Henry VI became unfit to rule after falling gravely ill. Parliament appointed Richard, third Duke of York, who had a strong claim to English throne to rule as a uh, Lord Protector. Recovering two years, forcing anger Richard. Yes. Henry resumed his reign. Hang on, let me just double check. I just zoned out, really. Uh, we need a subject, though, and a verb, so that's... Uh, Yeah, and this is a you know dangling modifier, so twenty thirty five. Although uh, novels and poems are con considered distinct literary forms, many authors have created hybrid words that incorporate elements of both. Bernadine Evaristo's *The Emperor's Babe*. Uh, for example, hang on. I'm, okay, for example, is a novel, but also poetry. Okay, yeah. All right, twenty one. Let's keep going. At two weeks old, the time their critical civilization period begins, they cannot sm they can smell but cannot see or hear. Domestic dogs, of course, um, wolves, on the other hand, uh, by contrast, can see here by the end of two weeks. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a contrast. Uh, 21, 22. Researchers Helena, Lucia, Marco report points a shift in the opposition these days. Uh, for, uh, increasingly, they're choosing to collaborate. There we go, 2138. All right, I think we're at the end. While researchers uh, were taking a couple notes. Relevant to accomplish the goal of what? Present the study and its findings. Okay, so it's supposed to be a general study. Okay, if Terra stars were reptiles, 2021 study, 
analyze fragments, uh, and used techniques to determine that the bone had fula belonged to juveniles. Okay, so they found juveniles. In 2021, studied bones and, nope. In 2020 study, she used to analyze these bones and, nope, um, determined that loans had figured out and thus belong to juveniles. There we go. Uh, 22, 27. Students taking the following notes. Uh, we want to compare the two women's contributions. Uh, that's all we're doing. So African women play prominent roles. Uh, we have Anna Hedgeman, a political advisor for Truman. We have Daisy Bates, a uh, journalist and advocate, and they were behind the scenes. And Bates was the speaker. Okay. So we want to compare the contributions. Make sure it was a soul interesting. That works. Uh, but I, I don't know if I love the all, though. Um, Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess it's the only one that does the job. 23, 26. All right. So that was pretty fast. Uh, I'm just going to move on. Honestly, I, I don't know what else to do besides that, right? So I'm going to restart time. Uh, and let me just take a quick... Uh, uh, a quick break to stretch and then I'll, I'll sort of do a, an explanation really quickly. Oh, uh, an explanation of some things that went a little differently uh, <laughs> from what, what I what I had planned. OK, so let me let me do that after a quick stretch break. Okay, uh, it was a quick break because I do have a bunch of other things on my plate today, so I'm just going to keep it moving forward. Uh, for, main thing I want to say is at the very beginning of the stream, I said that I intended not to use my pencil. Um, yeah, I'm going to cancel that. It's just too unnatural to not use the pencil while I'm taking a PDF test. So I guess I'll have to do two sets of streams. One set of stream is for just taking the PDF tests and sort of like being a little more thorough in a way with the with the um, with the questions themselves, and then maybe later on when that when we have more difficult tests, then I could talk about time management by showing how I solve it on the in the digit in the blue book app. But I think those are two different skills. Okay, just like understanding a question and answering it versus. Yeah, I don't. You know, this this whole digital format is like messing everything up. I, like, I'm getting con very confused, honestly, about how to how to do these streams. But anyway, I'm doing the PDFs. I'm doing the paper, linear, non-adaptive versions because at least you guys can follow along. Okay, so uh, time management, all that stuff, that goes out the window. But and even like the real like strategy that you would really use on the on, on the real test, you know, with like the the tablet and the, the thumbs and whatever, right? That, that goes all out the window, but at least you can practice the intellectual skills that are necessary by watching these streams. So um, yeah, I guess I'll just focus and drill down into that. I'll dig my heels there. Um, I think I said one other thing that I that kind of contradicted. Oh, right. The other thing I uh, was that I kind of said I would read the passages 
I would read first and then do the question second, but then I also kind of mix and match. Well, it turned out to be very mix and matchy, a lot more mix and matchy this time compared to when I was taking it uh, on the Blue Book app. I'm not really sure why, and I'm not really sure what's more effective, but what I notice is when I, when I take, when I read the passage first, I do feel calmer, but I do, th but I also think it's probably less time efficient, but I'm not hundred percent sure. <laughs> okay. I'm just, it's just, those are just what I feel at the moment. Okay. Um, and right now, because there's such a luxury of time at the moment, I think I should prefer the calmer option because calmer means more confident that I'm not as likely to make mistakes. So I recommended this last time after my, after my blue book version of the first practice test, but I think I'm sticking with it. I think it feels better to just read the passage first calmly. Okay. So that's my, that's my tentative conclusion again. Uh, but, uh, as I do this stream, I think I'll just kind of, kind of fuck around really just like see what works. Um, and I'll, I'll mess around, but on the real test, you definitely want to stabilize on one strategy. Okay. So don't do what I'm doing right now. I'm more in like the research and development phase where I'm figuring out what's the best approach. Okay. So keep that in mind. I'll be jumping around and trying different things and just sort of going by my gut feeling for the time being. I also think it really will, it really will help to know the question types in advance. Um, most of these SAT books, they like obsess about question types. And I thought that was less relevant for the current SAT, but for this SAT, yeah, just like knowing the question types is going to be super helpful. And yes, learning the logic goal, like argumentation stuff. Oh man, you're going to really, you're going to really need to study that. I think you're going to need to separately study that thing, uh, that, that as a unit to its, uh, to itself. All right. Well, those are some of my comments. I'm going to go back into the test. So here we go. All right. And let's resume. Three, two, one, let's go. Jacob Lawrence being, mm, was being something was an important part of the process. He played close attention, so observant. Okay, that's 12 seconds. Ferreira and others at Brazil's Butantan are studying freshwaters to determine where, such as the rays age and sex have mm, effect on the toxicity varies have a varying have a have a, a substantial right so that's 34 have struggled to pinpoint specific causes for hiccups which happens when which happen when a person's diaphragm contracts quickly uh involuntarily i guess uh these uncontrollable there we go that is 51 Asserted that fine art and fashion rarely in a world where they create timeless works and designers periodically. Oh, right. So I actually saw this and this was kind of confusing my first time. Um, hang on. Where's the, uh, which choice complex was the most logical precise word? Um, rarely converge, uh, intersect. Okay. Yeah. If you just see this, it's like, they're supposed to be separate periodically versus timeless, right? So 128. Scar discussions gender in Shakespeare's comedies often celebrate the rebellion of the playwright's characters against the rigid expectations uh, set uh, prescribed by Elizabeth. Oh, that's basically a straight vocab question. Dictated, right? Uh, 150, 149. In studying the use of external stimuli to reduce the itching sensation caused by an allergic histamine response, found that while harmless vibration or warming, such stimuli, such benign, uh, such innocuous seeming stimuli actually offered less relief than a, okay, yeah. Which makes it deceptive in a way, but that's not the, yeah, we're just looking for a synonym for harmless. 21. 
218, I mean. We're going. Soko Nako was situated on this coast, southeast of Tenochtitlan. I've seen this before. Location within was, was so f far, uh, peripheral. After our long journey, exactly far is peripheral in this context. We're, we're now into a literature section. Uh, Jane Eyer, Governess Thornfield, um, main purpose. I went on my business tranquilly. Ever and anon, vague suggestions kept wandering of why I should quit. I see. Kept thinking about quitting to check. They were growing. Okay, so to emphasize the loyalty, uh, uh, determination, uh, our calmlessness. Okay, maybe there is a calmness. Uh, okay, uh, I guess there is a contrast. Uh, Yeah, quitting is the focus, not securing. Okay, so I just wanted to double check because I felt a little iffy about this contrast. I mean, I see a contrast, but that's literally only one sentence. So I felt a little, a little, a little I thought it was a little sketch. Okay. Uh, regenerate some parts of their body, such as skin. But when three banded panther worm is cut to three pieces, each piece grows into a new worm. That's pretty crazy. Limited regeneration, and they're making a set of progress, is that both humans and panther worms have a gene for early growth response. We have, <laughs> okay, we can turn to Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, author of text two say about text one's characterization of the okay, discovery. The characterization of discovery is that it's exciting, okay? Is that it's exciting, okay? Reported that the pantherism caused excitement. However, uh, likely function very, functions very differently in humans uh, to a switch uh, to these other genes. But how the switch are unclear. Uh, you know, it's that it's... Uh, what would we say about it? It's overly optimistic because we don't know. Uh, additional observations is kind of an awkward strain. It's, it's an awkward thing to say, but yeah, dismissive, reasonable. Yeah, but I, I just thought that the phrase is a little awkward, but whatever. I mean, the rest of that sentence works, and it's I still see what they're trying to say. Uh, Sonnet 27, a close friend. Uh, I did read this before. I don't fully remember right now. Weary with toil, I hurry to my bed. The dear repose, travel tired, journey, body's work expired. Oh, right. So I keep thinking about you, my friend. Uh, is not asleep. He's unable to sleep. Think about a friend instead of falling asleep. There we go. So it's 5.30. Here we go. Uh, Lewis Carroll's Novel, Sylvie Bruno, crowd gather outside room for long to warden. Who roared for the subword? Everybody roared whether it was for the subword or not. Did not quite appear. Some were shining bright, some were tiny. So no one seemed to know what it was. Oh, I saw this before. All I saw, how does he respond to the, how does the Lord Chancellor? So one of the interesting things is you have to like, you have to like look at the question and really identify what the question is asking about. Um, he can repeat it to himself, what can the dolls mean? I've never heard such shouting before and with such unanimity, right? But then you need to also read the rest of this, and I remember this from the passage now, but it was not clearly appeared. There were, no one seemed to know what they wanted versus the unanimity, and that, that gets us to, he describes the crowd as being united, even though they clearly appear. So Lord Chancellor is very bewildered. He's a befuddled man. I think it took me a little longer than one minute uh, when I actually read it the first time. Uh, you can see that in the in my digital, uh, my blue book version of the stream, uh, which I uploaded a couple days ago. Anyway, O Pioneers, uh, Bergson is having a deep emotional connection to our natural emo natural surroundings. Which so we want a natural emotional connection to natural surroundings. The country mentor that sounds connect. The chirping was like sweet. And then with the quail, the plover. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'm I almost man, nope. Alone, nope. No markets, nope. And at seven twelve, we're moving on. Okay. 
uh, rates of speech and information conveyed for five language. Rate of information conveyed. That's such an interesting, <laughs> that's so crazy and interesting. Okay, information co is conveyed faster and slower in certain languages, apparently. <laughs> okay, so I assume more syllables is more, no, more syllables is not more information. More syllables is not more information. These are the highest, but they don't have the highest, okay. And these are the highest over here. Very much less. The amount of information, oh, I see, these are, okay, I see, big. The same amount of information, sure. Uh, Vietnamese and Spanish convey the same rate even though their Spanish is spoken at Vietnamese. What? Same rate even though Vietnamese is slower. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, 834. Yeah, you know, I kind of, I think I do prefer reading the thing first and not reading the question and just sort of knowing the shape of the questions that will come out. Um, so maybe just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, man, I keep going back and forth on this. Uh, Kellner, hate, argued, experience, awe, can enable us to feel more connected to others, more altruistically, C claims, but not hate, claims that found evidence, gaze up at tall trees, or stare at a building after one minute, and uh, uh, deliberately spills a box of pens and then they help, they help. Who looked at the trees, helped. Yeah. Because awe, you know, something grand or powerful, the trees are supposed to be grand or powerful, so they're supposed to be helping. Uh, it's so easy because they put it in A, but whatever. All right. Uh, I think I've seen this before. France, US, uh, have I seen this? Over the past 200 years, I'm just kind of overwhelmed right now by this table. And previously, when I started reading the table first, it felt very overwhelming. So, but one thing to notice is this is France and this is US, right? And this is, yeah, that's the main thing to notice. The percentage of population employed in the agriculture sector has declined in both France and the United States, while employment in the service sector has risen, which makes sense at very different rates. There we go. And I have seen this. I've seen this before at very different rates. So we just need to see how the service, so agriculture drops off uh, pretty similarly, actually. They look very similar, although it is a little faster here. And service, uh, service goes up, uh, but a little faster over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faster over here, if you're comparing to the France side. Yeah, yeah, so the, the 1900 to 1950 is much faster. Most, David, to complete the statement, uh, if you comparing the employment by sector in both countries in 1900 and 1950, because that's where the jump really, that's where the US and the Fr uh, French really differ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 1115. Diana, what's up and thank you. Tell you that uh, categorizing fragments by style, period, and the, the objects they belong to relies not only on standard, but on, on instinct. Ooh, but we're gonna go against the traditional. Ooh. the researchers claim. Well, because categorizing them might not be the only thing they do. Um, show that a few of them, no. Uh, hang on, the claim, the claim. As accurately as the team of 
Okay, wait. The, what? I, I'm waiting for it. We're able to activate the cameras. Oh. Quickly is the opposite. So I'm going through process elimination one by one. Uh, show that camera limits the amount of time they can dedicate. Okay, survey. Ah, okay. Well, duh. I actually, you know what? I kind of was a little too sloppy. I should have just read that full sentence because that was the one I was looking at the first time. Wow, that was kind of a waste of time. Anyway, let's go. Military veterans make up a small proportion of the total population. They occupy a significantly higher proportion of jobs in the civilian government. Yeah, that makes sense. Is that the military is familiar with organizational structures that are reflected? Yeah, and this familiarity thus um, increases their uh, likelihood, uh, makes the, yeah, sure. Uh, alters, no. Uh, no, better, nah. Jobs, yeah. So 13, 32. Birds of many species and just foods containing carotenoids these pigment molecules that are colored into uh, feather coloration i've seen this before uh, coloration tends to be saturated male bird feathers because carotenoids also for health benefits oh hang on and because they also convey how about wait hang on male birds have these things which uh gets colors they also are healthful so they do get colors and health um, so it's a signal of fitness. However, they found that males in this genus use these microstructures to manipulate light, creating the appearance of deeper saturation. Oh, it's like Instagram. <laughs> it's like Instagram. Uh, without the birds necessarily have to maintain. So, <laughs> so just, right. um, like I rent a Lamborghini for a day. It's basically the same idea. <laughs> or, you know, I use like a face uh, like tuning app or whatever you call that. Facetune or whatever that app is called. Which choice most logically completes the text? Um, suggests that, you know, it's not necessarily on a signal. Function as a dishonest signal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, there we go. 1452. Because it can be tricked. You can, you can kind of fake it. When writing the other black girl, Drawing our own experiences, working on a uh, award-winning book is Harris's first novel, but her writing, uh, hang on, we are at a big transition now, we're at grammar. Uh, award-winning book is first, but her writing mm, has been, are we in present tense? Had been, were, what, what, uh, what hang on. Wait, drew, when writing this, oh, is the first novel, I, I, I'm getting confused, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe I spent so much time on that question. <laughs> I, I was just like going all over the place. Uh, the Alvarez theory, uh, Alvarez, maintained the second effects of a natural impact, caused many dinosaurs to die and other animals to die out, but it left unexplored, come a butt, and we're good, 1550. Okay, we're gonna keep going. In winter, the diets of macaques are influenced by Availability than preference, uh, prefer, to, prefer to eat vegetation, unavailable because of snow, which makes sense. So, uh, those foods, uh, forcing, yeah, because that's a fragment. Okay, there we go. It would become a fragment if I put a so, it wouldn't make any sense. Forcing, yeah. The Macelle observed that the alkaline soil contained on some for that, but that doesn't inhibit the growth of these were grown in alkaline soil alongside grasses that aid in iron cell Um Could the blueberries thrive? He was determined to find out. <laughs> it's these blanks are so crazy. I kind of prefer the pre-filled the pre-filled A, but anyway. It does make it a little harder. Okay, I just sort of lingered for a sec. 17, 10. Uh, let's keep going. 
Um, exposition music, Korean American artist Nam Joo Baek. Uh, yeah, today Baek was is considered. Yep. Uh, 1724 because we're in today uh, the first computerized spreadsheet uh, improved not only by providing but also automatically updating all accounts that are dependent on these um, adjustments okay adjustments prior to this release they had to do yeah the process okay in order to prevent non-native fish species from moving freely between the Mediterranean and Red Seas, uh, proposed that a saline lock would be installed along there. The lock would increase the salinity of the lakes and create, would increase and create. Yep, so that's uh, 1805. Despite being cheaper, it's not easy to produce. Mm -hmm. There are two problems associated with commercial plastics. Yep. No. Commercial plastics have to because of being cheap, uh, dangling modifier, almost made a mistake there. 1823, S uh, stomata uh, open when guard cells surrounding each uh, pore swell of water. In a pivotal article, plant cell biologist Yuri Lee showed that lipid molecules are responsible for, oh, yo, this is, I used to teach this a long time ago, but actually it might be really helpful to just reteach this again. Small flash shards of called spatula are, are found at the tips of the hairs on a spider's leg. These spatula temporarily bond these spatula with atoms or whatever they touch. As a result, they're able to, yeah. All right, 1903. For, if you're not good with sentence construction, it might be good to circle all subjects. Uh, sure, Gill was living was living in what must have seemed like the ideal city for artists. She was studying firsthand the color sections of the mess and beginning to make a name for herself as a painter. Um, however, she longed to return home, only there, okay, uh, still, yeah. Nevertheless, 1927. Okay, there's a contrast there. Before the election to approve the problems of activists sold, sold tea to promote the cause. Um, the Women's Suffrage Party sold equality tea at local fairs uh, uh, in San Francisco. Similarly, in Los Angeles, uh, Craig distributed, yeah, so 1952. Actually, it is a little distracting circling all subjects uh, and underlining all verbs because it's just like, like you don't really need it for every single sentence or every single paragraph. Um, anyway, I just tried it to see if it worked, but it, it is a little distracting if it's not primarily a sentence construction question. While re researching a topic, students taking the following notes, uh, we wanna compare the lengths of the two rail tunnels. Okay, uh, 33 miles long, 31 miles long, this is the channel tunnel and the Seiken tunnel. The, and um, 33 versus 31. So while is a perfect thing. Seiken 33, channel 31. That's perfect. That did not take any time at all. No process elimination. It's so extremely obviously correct. Um, taking the following notes, we want to provide an explanation and example of flana. So what is flana? Flana is flora and fauna. Uh, an expert. Which means uh, plant-animal hybrids in his surreal plant paintings. Okay, and that's the explanation, so we just need an, ex an example. The term flana is, a, okay, it's a combination of, a combination of, to describe, uh, I guess it kind of works. Um, uh, that doesn't explain anything. We need an explanation. Oh my God, that's such a, sure. That's such a poorly sequenced sentence, though. I think is, is there isn't isn't that couldn't that be a better sentence? Our times flana. Time. Okay. All right, whatever. I'm just emphasize the uniqueness of the accomplishment. Um, Taylor's accomplishment. Okay, let's go. Taylor escaped slavery, fled. She began working for an army, black army regiment. Published a book. Her book was the only single. Memoir published by Luca. Okay, so, you know, she the, was the only, yeah. 
<laughs> uniqueness, that's correct. That's actually hilariously, because it's so obvious to me, but I know that so many of you guys are gonna F up on that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna get so screwed on that. It's like, oh, am I allowed to choose something so simple? Like literally after this one. Uh, anyway, sorry, sorry to laugh. Uh, what, I did that even faster? Okay, I just get faster and faster at these things. Holy crap, Tw 22 minutes? What was the previous one, right? Let me go find it. 23 minutes, oh, I guess it was only a little faster. Yeah, guys, um, I guess I should score. I'll score. Uh, but I mean, I honestly, you know, on the real test, I would probably go, I probably should have, uh, sh I probably should have like circled questions that I felt iffy on and stuff so that I could go and review, but I'm being a little lazy. I'm being a little like run and gun, you know, I'm being a little sloppy. Uh, right now I feel like out of 66 questions, it's actually pretty likely that I got 64 out of 66. Cause I kind of like ran and I think kind of ran and gunned, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I feel a little tense right now, but I'm also too lazy to go and double check every single question. So, <laughs> it's just the nature, all right? It's, it's human nature. This is how I actually am right now, all right? So, deal with it. Uh, now, let me go pick it up. Here is the, uh, here's the, I'm pulling up the answer key on my, uh, on my, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> on my computer, that's what you call that. Uh, so right now it's in front of me and I'm looking up the answer key, right? We're going into the reading 66 questions. Here we go. In red color, I chose BC, BC are correct. I chose D A B A, D A B A are correct. I chose A D, A D are correct for seven and eight. Then I chose uh, C C A A A C C A A A. That's correct. C C A A A. That's correct. Yeah. And then I chose C D. C D is correct. So that's fifteen for sixteen and on. I chose C B B. A A C C B B A A C. That's correct. Then I chose C B A B C B A B. That's correct. Then I chose A A A D A A A D. Is correct. Then I chose C D. Uh, oh my God! Oh yeah, C D is correct. Thirty thirty one. C D is correct. C D is correct. And then D C D C is correct. I got thirty three out of third. Oops, I cannot right numbers 33 out of 33 all right congratulations me uh one more one more test or one more module i mean i chose bd bd is correct then i chose addb addb are correct i guess i should do proper subject verb agreement right they are correct that uh, is correct <laughs> okay anyway seven to eight i chose dog and ant da that's correct Uh, just double checking because I interrupted myself, so make sure I didn't make a mistake there. Okay, nine and on, I chose B, D, D, A. B, D, D, A are correct. Then I chose B, A, A. B, A, A are correct. Then I chose C, A, D, C, B. C, A, D, C, B, that's correct, 21. Uh, I chose C, D, D, C. C, D, D, C, that's correct. Then I chose uh, B D C A D B D C D B D C D. That's correct. Finally, last page. A C B A C B. That's correct. And then B D B D. That's correct. That's thirty three. Oh my God, I feel bad for you guys who make a single mistake, even though you have the ability. You just made like a single careless mistake. The curve on this is gonna be so brutal, <laughs> just so brutal. Anyway, guys, so that is uh, the stream. Uh, feel free to leave comments in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'm gonna take a two day break, by the way. It's my weekend. My weekend is Monday, Tuesday. So I'll see you guys a couple days from now. Uh, until then, keep on learning, keep on growing. Peace.